Hello, hello. Did you ever try and get the best filters or reshade or just generally trying to make your sim look a little bit better? Consider this, the sim in its natural state did a little bit on the bland side. Even though it blows our mind when we look at the graphics quality, there's just something about the temperatures of the colors and it doesn't really go pop. Well, what I'm going to show you in this video is using an inbuilt feature with the Nvidia graphics cards and it's called the Nvidia filters. Check this out. So we find ourselves here um, with the Cessna 172 and this is the default kind of setting. This is what the sim is going to look like to us. Um, re, you know, it, it depends obviously what part of the world you're in, but you can kind of see by this, by the kind of, by the colors, by the depth, it kind of has a washed out sort of a feel to it, right? So what we're going to do, uh, we need to open up the Nvidia filters panel. So to do this, we're going to press and hold the left ALT key or alt, and then we're going to hit F3. Now, this is going to bring up a game filter up here on the left hand side. And what you can do, you have a choice of having three different styles. So with it turned off, this is the sim in its normal state. So we're going to jump in here to number two and we're going to start adding some filters to see what we can do to make things look a little bit better. So the one that I use, I like using the brightness and contrast. So we're going to select this one first and you can see straight away the difference between one or the other. It already makes a difference. So in brightness and contrast, so exposure, we're going to bring the, that down just a little bit. Yeah, seven to eight, give or take. Contrast, leave it alone. Highlights, bring these guys down. Shadows, we're going to bring these all the way up to somewhere in around the, the mid 50s. It just gives it a bit more pop. So if we were to compare just the brightness and contrast, on or off, you can see the difference straight away. Now, let's not stop there. Let's go in and add some color. Now, straight away, this is where we can make the thing look warmer or colder. So in our color settings, we can go in and have a look at the tint color. That'll change it to anything you want, really. Uh, what I do, I bring everything down to about zero. The temperature, I bring this down a little bit. For me, it gives it a more kind of a natural kind of a look. And then the vibrance, I'll bring it up a small bit. So you're talking minus 12 on your temperature and about plus 14 on your vibrance. Now, we're nearly there. The last bit I want to do is add in some details. So let's use the drop down for details. And let's have a look at what we can do in here. So the sharpen, if you really want to smooth things out, if you want to make that, you know, make it that little bit extra crispy and um, 100% is probably extreme. Somewhere around the kind of 50s to 60s is fairly good. Clarity, also something similar. We can bring the clarity down and bring it up. Now you bring the clarity down, it kind of gives it that cartoony kind of a look. So if you bring your clarity, I suppose, somewhere in around about 20, you should be good. Your HDR toning, this is really going to help your shadows. Look underneath the aircraft, you can see those shadows really coming to life. So HDR toning, I'm going to bring this down to about 6. And then the bloom, this is reminiscent of the old, you know, console games of like the late 90s. Everything added in bloom. The bloom, although it looks nice, I'm just going to bring it down a little bit because we don't want to have over bloom. 6 or 8 in and around there. Now, when we have a look at the before and after, this is the before and this is the after. It makes for some absolutely incredible settings. Now, there is a headache. The game filters, all these settings that you add in, anytime you want to update your graphics card, it deletes these. So you gotta write them down or take a picture with your phone or do a screenshot, whatever, so you know where to keep them. And um, then when you're flying, if you want, you can close this menu down. If you want to change your filters, again, you just press the left alt and F3. This brings up the menu and you can select then which ones you want. So let's go into number three here. Let's get creative, right? We'll do something here kind of mad. The Nvidia filters come with some of their own, including it has this special effects that has sharpenings, has all sorts of cool stuff. So if we put in this special effects, look at the state of this pure retro style. Now, a lot of this can be done in kind of post, like if you're editing your videos or if you're, you know, screenshots and all this sort of jazz, I mean, you can absolutely do it there, right? But I mean, if you just want this in the sim, you want to go flying and you want to show or you want to fly in this sort of an experience. I mean, you can absolutely do that. Look how good that looks. Now, if you didn't want that and you wanted to do something completely different, we're sure we can delete this special effects and we'll just put in, say, an old film. Let's go into some of the options in here, right? So the, uh, let me see here now, the exposure, we can lower that down. 
the gamma, we can probably bring that up a smidgen. Uh, the vignette, that's like the black vignette marks around the the, uh, the lens. The filter strength, so you can bring it back a small bit. And then you have this film there. See all these lines going up and down? The old flight simulation video. It's a real one of those, right? Uh, and we can mess around with the contrast as well. Now let's see if we bring up the filter there so it's kind of black and white. I mean, look at that straight away. Do you know what I mean? It's like something from yesteryear. And you can change these then on the fly because it's only a matter of selecting another filter and it completely changes your sim. If we're inside the aircraft from your seating position, right? Filters off. If we want to have a, you know, just a look around the place. Yeah, everything looks pretty okay. We'll turn on some Toby Eye here just for the crack. So if we're just looking around, yeah, I mean, it looks decent enough. I mean, the sim is a beautiful sim, right? It's gorgeous. But let's just put back on one of our filters that we made. Look at the difference here now. Everything's sharper. It's more punchier. There's more depth to what's going on on the screen. And then if we really wanted to mess around, we can get creative with some of the creative filters. It's just another way for you to enjoy your flight sim. And uh, just remember, you have to save all of these or take a picture of them. There's no way to kind of hard save them. So every time your graphics card gets uh, an update, anytime your sim gets an update, uh, well, chances are you're going to lose these. So whatever ones you're happy with, take a screenshot and keep it safe for some, uh, for, you know, the next time you need it. Right, that's it now. I'm away to enjoy me filters. We'll see you on the next video.